Hello archers, I'm Dustin and in this video I'm going to be adjusting the first, second and third axis level on my Achieve uh, Carbon CBL site. Um, so uh, the product that I'm going to be using today is the Bright Sight third axis leveler. Uh, this is a wonderful product for uh, adjusting second and third axis and first axis on your sights, making it very simple, straightforward, um, without any games, uh, helping you have the most amount of confidence in your setup uh, to execute those shots uh, at distance when you're shooting above and below grade. Um, so the bright sight third axis leveler is just what you see right here. Um, so it's going to come... Um, on this machined aluminum bracket um, and this 90 degree um, beam right there. It's gonna come with this uh, sight mounting block and two Phillips head screws to thread your sight into it. Uh, I'm gonna be using some additional tools today. So I'm also using a bright sight hands-free level uh, that does not come with this uh, item. It is sold separately. Uh, and I'm also using some stubby Allen key wrenches to make those adjustments on my sight. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is you are going to level the platform, all right? And that is done with this knob right here. So by turning this red knob, you'll see I'm adjusting that bubble level. And when you're satisfied, uh, there you go. We can start from there. So now the first axis adjustment on um, my site is going to be uh, this elevation bar, okay? So um, if I move my elevation bar and that axis is not set properly, as I adjust my elevation up and down, my windage will, can, will move left and right. Uh, so it's very important, it's critical um, that I get that bar flush with my bow um, and straight up and down. So I'm going to be looking at the level on my hands-free level, uh, and I'll do a little bit of adjustment here. And I'll slowly snug down, not really wrenching on the equipment at all to where I find okay, not quite where I like it. Okay, that's great. Uh, so now I'll go to the bottom, and now I'm just gonna snug a little bit more, top and bottom, kind of evenly snugging. If you wrench down on one, you definitely will move your bubble. A little bit at a time. That's probably the best trick for this. Okay, so now that um, my first axis um, bar is sufficiently snug down, I can move on to my second axis. So when I'm doing my second axis, essentially, let's make sure we're staying flush here. Okay, good. Um, what I'm gonna do now is by adjusting the second axis on my scope housing, I'm gonna make sure that my bubble level is true. Um, inside my scope. Um, so on a achieve, um, the second axis adjustment is here. So I'm just going to rotate this up and show you guys the adjustment screws uh, right there. Sorry. Okay. And if I take a look, uh, let's see. All right, I'm actually very level. Uh, in there, so there's not much adjustment needed um, at this point. Yeah, I'm level, level. Everything looks true at this point. So to do third axis, uh, that's now where we have to pitch uh, the site, and that's uh, one of the reasons why this tool is so easy to use. So I could pitch it down or pitch it up either way. I think visually I can see it down. You guys probably can't. Um, and my third axis is pretty solid, but I will demonstrate just the adjustment. There you go. All right. So there's my third axis adjustment. Um, so that would be way off. Whoa. No way. Pitch it up. Cool. There we have it. That's the position we want. Again, snug, snug, very slowly when you do this, increasing tension, 
a little bit at a time, and that's the best trick for second or third axis adjustments on your site, is just go nice and slow, um, increasing the tension until you get your bubble exactly where you want it. Um, that's really it. It's pretty straightforward, archers. Um, if you like this video, be sure you give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, subscribe to our channel. And if you have questions about this product or any others, visit us at LancasterArchery.com.